three, two. Hey. Hey. hey! What up, what up? We are back! We are. This is our theme music. <laughs> I like it. Can I yes, grab my indeed. other mic? Yes, indeed. You are now tuned in to the hottest podcast across the land. The hottest podcast across the globe, and definitely, motherfuckers, definitely the hottest podcast on youtube live yes indeed if you don't know you better ask somebody this is your boy patient zero and my co-host and this is mixture of variety give it up one time give it up one time yes indeed (laughs) all right all right that music always pumps me up you know what i'm saying like perfect way to start the show Oof. perfect way as you're cracking your neck as you're cracking your neck (laughs) You are cracking your neck. What's going on, Nikki P? <laughs> How you feeling? Oh, nothing. I'm I'm feeling it, but good. <laughs> Dying, Dying but good. But good. <laughs> Dying but good. Yes, indeed. Don't be stealing that shit. It's copyrighted. Uh, What's okay. Happening? So, how was your how was your week? How was your how was your oh, Friday? Oh God. You know, I, anxiety filled. Search twenty yeah. minutes for a table that I don't have that I never thought I had. Um, <laughs> been waiting on a job for two and a half years now. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Has that ever happened to anyone? You're told you're getting a job from someone you actually trusted and worked for before, and they keep leading you on. It's like they put the the bait on the hook, and you, you catch it a little, but then they just yank it back. That's exactly. That's a perfect analogy for two years of that shit. Two and a after half. I, 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 two and a half. I Almost feel like after July would be three. Oh, that's insane. Yeah. I feel like after after a, like a couple weeks, I'd be like, "All right, go fuck yourself." But I understand the importance of it and how bad that you were interested. I really want you know, this job, people. Yeah, I mean, at least like we were talking earlier, at least you can kind of call it, you know, because now that it's deaded, you can at least have some closure. And I would say move on, but you already did move on. So it just, it's just crazy. It's just but crazy. But I still out. have that glimmer of hope. Yeah, you still do. <laughs> there's, a, there's a little a little piece of bait left. Yeah, I mean, you know, either way, um, if it was not in the stars and it was just not, you know, not meant to happen, then it was just not meant to happen. Me, on the other hand, I get frustrated when I don't hear from someone for like 48 hours because I had a possibility of a job and I get a text and an email saying they're impressed by my application and I'm just like, oh my God, and it's somewhere really local and stuff like that. And I reach out yesterday and today and I get no yeah. answer. It's yeah. like, what the fuck is happening? It's like you're dating. Yeah, yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> like... It really is. It's just, you know, it's just crazy. Like, I, I always say that now there is like a job that usually like there'll be like 50 applicants there's like 500 applicants yeah. or maybe or maybe 500 now has 5000 applicants just cuz how the the world is but this is like you know like I'm I'm getting close but I guess I'm also like nibbling on the bait it's just like it's fucking crazy but it's been a crazy week for other reasons as well I feel like everybody has it's been feeling through- it the runner this week like for real like everybody has just been you know anxiety on an all-time high and you know possibly depression and and possibly like just not feeling right and just feeling off i had a really horrible week this week as far as like mental health stuff but the biggest thing i guess to talk about and we're not going to take too much time talking about it but 
last week we did the show. And uh, Trump was president. Yeah, he was. And this he's week not anymore. Show, and he is not anymore. And for your sake, I'm not going to do the applause. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, I mean, what a huge change like this whole country is going through. Um, On a positive ahead. note, though, those Joe Biden and Barack Obama memes are coming back and they're fucking hilarious. Well, that's really good. That, if anything, you know, to get out of this <laughs> complete <laughs> overhaul of uh, the White House and the Democrats taking over everything, um, yeah. the House, Senate, and the presidency, you know, I mean, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. Um, Antifa's in full effect yeah. in uh, Portland and, you know, other cities um, doing their thing, causing destruction, setting fires, just, you know, breaking windows and spray painting everything. And, what but, the fuck? you know, it's like, it doesn't matter if Biden's in or not. Like, we're still, you know, they're still angry. Yeah. Um, but they'll get a pass. But I'm, I'm actually a little worried for Biden. I really don't think he's going to make it through his first term. Why? I don't think he's going to make it through his first year of his first term. How about that? Like health wise or he's just he he already in 48 hours. He already looks like he's frustrated. He looks like he's exhausted. I can see through him. He's like a spirit. He's basically dead already. Like he just looks like depleted, <laughs> defeated. You know what I mean? Like in two days. And I'm just like, oh, man. I mean, I, I know it's a big change for him and shit, but it's just like you got to you got to take some vitamins, bro, or something. Pretty much us combined. <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. exactly. He's already over it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what he... F that's, I don't know. That's that's just me. That's just me. Um, any change in the presidency is just like, let, let's just see what happens. I really hope things don't get worse. I know. But anyway, this show is definitely Here not going to get worse. This show is going to continue to get better and better. So grow with us because this show... Is every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, on YouTube. And this is episode three. I don't know if I said that yet. Nikki P, this is episode three. And Already? We are, we, are, we are truly just getting started. We have been doing an audio podcast for about a year, but that's nothing in comparison. We are definitely rookies again. We are at the novice level. Right, Nikki P? But we're getting there. I mean, of course we're getting there, and we're not going anywhere. We're just, you're going to continue to see us, and we're just going to continue to grow, so. My background upgraded. Yeah, exactly. See the little upgrades? Every every week, you're going to see upgrades. Next week is me. lighting. Exactly. You got me looking like, uh, I, I don't know if I'm, uh, if I look like an essay, or if I look like a Guido. No, more like an essay. No, essay. Essay, essay, pato, hey, pato, yeah. That's what I look like, for sure. <laughs> um, and since we couldn't be naked tonight, I'm rocking my girls. Yes, indeed. Yes, this is going to be interesting because we are talking about sex today, but we have to do the PG-13 version, and usually we don't. So what I was saying about our audio show, Nikki P, we do still have an audio podcast, Monday through Thursday, and a sex show every Wednesday. Or Friday. Except for this coming Wednesday. Still. Yes, or or Friday. Yeah, exactly. Things things get switched <laughs> around. If you know, for the most part, whatever happens during the week, like this YouTube thing is gonna happen. So Monday through Thursday, check us out on Castbox. That is a, a podcast app, and you can get all of our shows on Anchor.fm, and we can anchor, get a possibility. Anchor, anchor. Yeah, you can get a possi you know, we can get a possibility for sponsorship, a lot easier way for a sponsorship for us. We just need to see the traffic. But also you'll see all the other platforms that we are on, which is Spotify and iHeart and Amazon, all the major ones. Basically all I say is just Google Mixture of Variety Podcast and we will come up. And probably the YouTube podcast will be the first thing to pop up. And our faces. And our faces, yes. Our faces Don't mind will pop my, up. My bloated bloatness i don't know why i'm like, bloated today are you bloated a little i don't know why well either way if you're bloated or not just once you put in make sure variety podcast it should be the first thing to pop up all right so <laughs> 
With that being said, please spread the word. You know, just spread the word like a prostitute's legs. Right, Nikki B? Ooh, like it. You like that one? Kind of goes with I tonight's do. show. A little bit, a little bit. If you can see in the title also, we're actually talking about role play tonight. So that would be really fun. Role play sex ideas, I should call it. Right? That's yes. a good That's a good way to call it. Because we're not, you know, like I said, PG-13, don't ban or flag us, YouTube. We love you. We're going to keep you PG-13. Promise. We stand. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. So... With that being said, this is a variety show podcast, and we talk about anything and everything. Thank you, don't we? We do. Yes, we truly do. We can talk about anything from mental health and addiction to having sex with gay midget aliens. (laughs) Exactly. Always a good time. And everything in between, as Nikki P calls it, the in betweeners. And we're going to go through this really fast because a lot of people don't know what the show is about. You know, we have a lot of newbies. So Uh, we're going to run down that list right quick. Yeah, just right quick. (laughs) Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Right quick. (laughs) So we got mental illness. We got mental health. We have addiction. We have sobriety. We have recovery. Experiences in a halfway house and rehab. LGBT life, relationship, current events, news, sex, 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 hip hop, mindfulness. We're going to take a mindfulness breath, everyone. Yeah, let's take a mindfulness breath right now just to like, you know, relax and stay in the moment and keep ourselves in the moment during the show. Ready? When you hear the bell. (sighs) I took the deep breath too soon, so I did the bell and then I almost passed out because I had to just go (laughs) even deeper. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> i needed that too yes exactly. all right just, just to remind us where our feet are planted and just stay in the moment like i said continue nikki p all righty mindfulness we got down ufos and aliens conspiracy series theories conspiracy theories we should make a series of them yes <laughs> random Absolutely. topics and so much more and above all nikki p above all Positive energy and laughs. Yes, indeed. That is truly what it's about. This whole podcast, you will learn over time, or if you listen to our audio show, or if you just tuned in for our third episode, or a second episode, or a first episode, you will know that more important than anything, positive energy and laughs. We're not professionals. These are just our thoughts, views, and opinions, and sometimes experience, strength, and hope. Right, Nick P? All the above. All the above. So, with that, let's just get through the disclaimer real fast. If you are hypersensitive or get butt hurt easy, this podcast is definitely not for you. Nope. Sick and twisted, dark humor, vulgar, uncensored language, and politically incorrect conversations are just some of the things. And fun. Feel here on Mixture of Variety, which means listener discretion is definitely advised. Oh. Yes, indeed. Oh, I can't the studio you. audience. Huh? There she is. What did you say? She's here. Granny. What? Where's my glasses? What up, Granny? I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was like a remix of Granny. I know. I Granny. love it. <laughs> um, there's actually two hosts here, as you can see, but we do have a third co-host, ladies and gentlemen. Her name is Granny. She has Alzheimer's and dementia. She doesn't even know what a podcast is, but she is here all the time, right? Sometimes we have to, like, <laughs> shoot her away on the weekends. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, we don't even have a show on the weekends, and she's still here. So, we noticed that, and we noticed that, you know, she comes all the time. <laughs> and we were like, you know what? We fucking love this lady. Then we noticed out in the parking lot, she was smoking toad. She was smoking crystal meth. She was smoking crack. She's tatted from head to toe. What else, Nikki P? Why we love her so much? um, Coming in with a huge bag that was bigger than her. And we opened it and it was a three foot dildo. Wow. Is all I have to say. Me and Nikki P laughed for about 12 and a half minutes. And then 
we came to a conclusion. <laughs> and we had to make her a co-host. The icing on the cake real quick, Nikki P. The icing on the cake. Oh, her 100th birthday was on our 100th podcast show. That That is a beautiful thing. That, that was Faith. Thing. It was. The stars weren't aligned at that night, for sure. And we love Granny. And we forgot to say, not only can you follow us on IG, you could also follow Granny on IG. She's on a bunch of banners as well. Follow us on Instagram, at Mixture of Variety. That's at Mixture of Variety. She'll have her own page soon, too. <laughs> <laughs> she will. She definitely will. She definitely will. And, uh, yeah, that's the story of Granny, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shit, mm. ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. We have some breaking news. And the breaking news comes in the form of a segment that we like to call Mini Holidays. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Mini Holidays. Why? Because every day is a holiday. I like Yes, indeed. We love turtles. We do love turtles. Yes, indeed. And well, let me just leave it at that. I'm gonna, I'm <laughs> gonna say every every week. I'm gonna be like, we have to get in contact with a turtle kid who's 38. We okay. will. We will. Don't worry. We will. I promise. He's that. younger than us, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I want to say he's. I mean, 20, 20 something. Yeah, right? Maybe like 22, 23, or something like that. I gotta find him. He probably got like an IG or something I didn't even look definitely. at yet. Definitely, yeah. Right? He definitely does. He definitely does. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, what should I say? Pat yourself on the back. You made it this far. The show is not for everybody. Shouts to our haters as well. This is everybody's segment of the show. Everybody's favorite segment of the show. <laughs> everybody's segment of the show. It's everybody. It it's for everybody. <laughs> It is. Listen, a lot of people don't make it this far. We understand there's a lot going on. Like Granny says. It's a lot to take in. Granny always says that. Granny still, though. The disclaimer. Having sex with gay Magellans. The turtle kid. I get it. We get it. We understand. <laughs> but I'll see you because you are officially a mixer and we love you to death for sticking tune and spreading we the word. We do. We do. We do. We do. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mini Holidays. Oh shit, here we go again. Oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this. Ain't nobody got time for that. We got we time got for time that. We got time for it, yes <laughs> indeed. We got time for it. <laughs> yes we do, Nikki P, we sure do. You want to start us off and uh, let people know what Nikki, I mean, <laughs> let people what know Nikki what P Mini thing? Holidays, <laughs> what, I was going to say what Nikki P is all about, what Mini Holidays is all about. Oh, many holidays. Well, just to sum it up, it is every day is dedicated to things to be celebrated. They could be big things. They could be little things. They could be something we don't even understand, but that makes it more the merrier um, because we feel every day should be celebrated and be grateful for the life you do have and who the hell cares about the things you don't have. Exactly. If you throw it out there in the universe, it will come to you. Exactly. Amen. Well said. Nice. Well said. Well so said. What so, what is today? Well, today is. Um, we definitely did not say today, did we? I don't think so. <laughs> I think we we obviously said it was Friday because we only do the show on Friday, but uh, I forgot to say the date. And the date is one twenty two twenty one. Woo! One twenty two twenty one. So January twenty second, twenty twenty one. And let's see what we got for today. You want me to start, Nikki P? Yeah, I told you you're gonna like your the first one the best. Oh, I already I already started laughing. <laughs> it is answer your cat's questions day. <laughs> answer your cat's questions day. I mean, that alone shows what Mini Holidays is about because they're yeah. so random and, and that's why we do them and that's why everybody loves them because they're so fucking random, which makes them hilarious. Exactly. You know, I wish we were getting paid. I wish we could make up some of these, but that's not the case. All right, one day. One. One it day. is Celebration of Life Day. Hey, I like that. All right. Celebration of Life. 
Which is oh, kind of what Mini Holidays is all about. <laughs> Sorry, I went down next. to the next one and I'm like, yeah. you, thank you. <laughs> let me just tell you, let me just tell you this. This one is coming from the cold day. We I, mean, hate the I cold. say this, I say this every year, but every year I hate the cold even more than the previous year. And I get so angry at myself that I'm still living in New York. I truly do. I'm not even lying. Like every year it gets worse. Every year it gets worse. You know, <laughs> it's like, I, I just, I just can't win. I can't win. We can't win. You know, you hate the cold as much as me. And I will say, I did point this out at work today. For January, it's not been bad at all. So, amen. Listen, it definitely could be worse. It's yeah, it could be that. like negative two, it like it was it, last year. Right, negative two and windy, and that's it. You don't leave your house. You know what I'm saying? You just, you just don't leave your house. No. Um, it's funny that you said that though, because starting tomorrow, there's supposed to be like a, a week of like really frigid cold air coming. Can't in. wait. Yeah. Right around so, my birthday, as per usual. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I just... It is... Oh. Yeah, I just want January to be over with, so, you know, February's gonna suck, and we might have a couple blizzards, and it might be freezing, but we're one month closer, and February is a short month. So, anyway, go for it. It is Dance of the Seven Veils Day. Oh, you guys probably knew that already. It is Dance of the Seven Veils Day. Nicky P, what in the living fuck is that? No clue. Uh, Salome's dance performance for Harad and Tapas and his guests. Oh, uh, right. which it's like um, according to the Bible type stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's definitely there's definitely like a lot of religious related stuff um, with many holidays for sure. But they they're just throwing in the mix. Get it like mixture of variety. It's just a mixture of variety. You just never know what you're going to get. All right. It's also National Activity Professionals Day. <laughs> so gym teachers? I guess something like that, yeah. <laughs> something like that. It is National Blonde Brownie Day. Oh. All right. Those are fucking delicious. Oh, I, I just want a brownie. Those are delicious. A blonde brownie? Mm -hmm. I will honestly say I never had one. Yes. Yes, indeed. You know I love blondes. <laughs> oh, National Hot Sauce Day. That's See? Cool. I could fuck with that. National Hot Sauce Day. Very nice. <laughs> what else we got, Nikki P? Oh, Lord. National Polka Dot Day. All right. And there you have it. Na National Polka Dot Day. These are also, we forgot to mention that me and Nikki P never look at these ahead of time, so they're new to us as well. Roe vs. Wade Day. Okay, I feel like that's a major court case that I should know. About abortion. Yes, that's right. That's what it was. Abortion. Thank you. Thanks. That's yeah, my, I should. Uh, I definitely. Should, I, I, <laughs> that's your holiday. That's your mini holiday. I. Uh, I definitely should have known that, and I. I did know that. I just got to process it, and not when the camera's in my face. I would have. I would have thought of it. But ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Those are all the mini holidays for one twenty two, twenty one, ladies and gentlemen. Now yes, the meat indeed. and potatoes. The meat and potatoes. I hope you guys got a steak fork and a steak knife. What the fuck is a steak, <laughs> steak fork? <laughs> All right. So this is great. This is this is the first time. I mean, this is only our third show anyway. So we're attempting a lot of things and experimenting with different things. However, this should be epic because we have an audio show, like I said, on CastBox Live, 9 p.m. Monday through Thursday. Every Wednesday, on Hump Day, we have a sex show, and we talk about some crazy stuff. We talk about some raunchy, dirty <laughs> stuff. I remember our first episode when I said that, Nikki P was like, well, you talk about raunchy stuff. And I was like, all right, all right. I, you know, I don't, listen, I don't mind. I talk about it all. And I've been, and I, and I had a crazy, you know, 
40 years of sex in my life. 40? Before, uh, almost 40. Before uh, <laughs> COVID-19 was the biggest cock block of all in 2020. But anyway, now we're not getting raunchy at all. What we're doing is we're breaking down 40 different erotic roleplay ideas. Okay? So continuation from part one no you know why we should start at the beginning oh because we're not reading it all we're just going like boom 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 you know what i'm saying okay so so if we're just reading it and and talking like a little bit about it um i think we can get through 40. <laughs> thank you for your faith but <laughs> okay yeah well i'm just saying because because when we did it the audio show we were like reading and we were you know you know. All right, so let's start at what the hell is the after show? I don't before know. Before the game. All right, so before the game begins, obviously you guys should just be aware, right? Be be uh, mindful about your limits, about how far you want to take it, about how uncomfortable you want to feel, because I, I feel like some of these can be uncomfortable. You're gonna be in a in an uncomfortable space. But then, when you start going down to business, it's probably going to be like the hottest thing in the world. Safe words are key. Yeah, absolutely safe words. Mine is pineapple. <laughs> yes. I don't know why, but it is. One of my role plays is actually trying to fit a pineapple. Up. Okay, let me stop. Um, Woofa. Switch it up, special delivery. Where am I, Nikki P? Under your spell, you're my inspiration, stranger in night. I mean, we left, I was just at where we left off. Um, All right, so you want to do that and then? Here we go, business and pleasure. Okay, cool, I'm there. So what we'll do is we'll read them uh, what we didn't finish, and then if we still have time, we'll just go back. That's fine. No problem. You want to read that one? Oh, you just All did, right. actually. Business and pleasure. <laughs> Business and pleasure. One All of right, you so... is a sex worker. Yes. And the other is a client. So that's the scenario. Right. Who, who hired the person for the night. Okay, so we're doing, like, prostitution stuff. Yes. Now, that's something that probably, like, a religious couple or whatever is not going to try. No. Um, but if you have an open mind and you want to try any of these or all these, um, this one would be what? Like someone coming to your door, you know, dressed all slutty. Like you found somebody off a of back page. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just order somebody off a of back page and be like, hey, I'm your date from is, back page. And be like, is okay. that even a thing anymore? No, no. The that feds, must have the, been wild. Yeah, the feds had to shut that shit down. That was getting wild. Oh, Lord. But, um... Yeah, I mean, something like that. Or or what else, Nikki P? What do you think? Like, what would be another scenario for, like, a, uh, a sex, wor sex worker? <clears throat> like me walking down the street and you in the car? Oh, okay, yeah. We've done that before. <laughs> 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 yeah okay yeah yeah something like that definitely um definitely. be like hey you work in the streets baby i'd run away like... <laughs> <laughs> i'd hit you with the pepper spray <laughs> yeah right <laughs> you want to hop on my moped see i feel no? like that's more realistic then, like, I know what they wrote is, like, someone coming to your door. And, like, I get the back page in Craigslist scenario. But, like, I would do walking down the street. Personably. Yeah. Personably. Personally. Yeah. All right. What about this? Have you done this before? Seriously. What? Seriously hot yoga. Not just hot yoga. Seriously hot yoga. Ah, uh, yeah, without knowing it. You're in downward dog and then 
You just feel something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I guess, yeah, I guess that's exactly what they're saying. <laughs> right? Downward dog. That's actually what it says on here, too. Um, but then the other yoga move is the plow, which I just, I love the name because I think it's hilarious. Uh, where yeah, you're, that's the one where your legs are behind your head, but like touching the, your feet are touching the floor. Okay. Oh, wow. The plow. So you're like, you're like getting ready to be plowed. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hence why I like the name. Yeah, I gotcha. Well, yeah, it would be cool. Like if, um, I mean, it would be cool if you were like in a hot yoga like studio and it was like three or four people who were all into it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and your, and your instructor was like, Hey, let's, uh, you know, let's get down and dirty. So like, you know, yeah, if you're stretching out and you're like sweating to death, go ahead. What? Well, my one instructor, apparently him and his wife are swimmers. Oh, see. I mean, he always had a full class, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I never experienced anything personally mm -hmm. in that sense. Yoga at home is different. Right. Yeah, because yoga at home, you can't really have... You can't really have hot yoga at home, and if you're doing like a instructor student thing, it's really just like two people, so it's a little different. Yeah. But if that scenario presented itself, I would definitely be down for that. Have fun. I love it. It'd be so fun. You'd have to peel my leggings off, but whatever. Yeah, me too. Um. <laughs> all right. So put your differences aside. Is the next one. What does that mean, Nikki P? Huh. Oh, so they're referring to, like, you're an activist. So, say I'm a PETA person, and I'm, like, anti-fur. And then Patient Zero comes over with, like, a nice fur coat. And I'm getting all <laughs> mad at him and bothered. And then he's, like, putting the fur on my body and, like, my face. And, ha Oops, let me do that. and my face okay. and just making me feel it. And then... One thing leads to another, and it's just you, patient zero, and the fur. Gotcha. <laughs> That's my interpretation. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, yeah, it, exactly something like that, where it would almost, like, cause an argument or something. What would yours but it, be? But instead, it, it's like, you know, it turns out to be this sexual adventure um well they also said something about yeah so the whole thing is about like making a lot of tension where you would normally like get in an argument so let's say politically oh lord if... yeah my favorite topic <laughs> so so fucking sick of of politics i can't even tell you but if like someone you know if i came up if you were a couple and one person this probably would never happen actually but one person was like strongly for trump and one person was strongly for hillary or biden you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. yeah i don't i honestly don't know how that relationship would work um you would you would need a lot of therapy i feel like and a lot of patience and understanding and open-mindedness i guess but you know if it was something like that and we were having like a hardcore conversation about like well fuck you because of this well fuck you because of this hey you want to have sex sure why not why not you want to read the next one yeah, oh, but even, like, my boyfriend and I, like, he's a hardcore Republican, and I'm here, like, I could give two shits. Mm -hmm. Until now, what I know, what I know, my views are split, but I'm not getting into that. Anywho, the spy who shagged me. One of my favorite okay. Austin Powers movies, by the way. <laughs> now, let's see. Is this somebody, like, climbing through your window? Didn't That's we have someone like that? <laughs> we read yeah, something the, like the that, right? person breaking in. Like, no. <laughs> I'm yeah, getting that, the gun and shooting you. Right. If that turns you on, that's actually one of these because there's 40 of them. Um, we sent some on our audio podcast. But anyway, there was one where it was like a breaking and entering type of situation <laughs> where you was like, How is that? <laughs> somebody would actually break into your house, either, you know, by window or forcefully by door or whatever. And like, uh, I don't know. You, you would get raped or something? I don't know. 
Well, and then I don't know if anyone's seen it, but like um, the Night Stalker, which is regarding to regarding to uh, Richard Ramirez in the late '80s, mid to late '80s. And that's what he did. He went to random people's houses and broke in. Some people he raped. Some people he killed. It was all over the place. So I can't. That's where my mind goes. I'm like, if I hear a noise, like, no. I have like five doors locked and no. That's what I'm no, saying. You know, how, you. you know how soft that would get? Like, I would not be hard in that situation. <laughs> I would not be like, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Who's breaking into my house? Come rape me. <laughs> no, thank you. All right, no. so what would you what kind of scenario would be a spy who shagged me, Ben? Um all right, so this actually makes a good point. It's like regarding to like a Mr. and Mrs. Smith. That movie with oh, Angelina yes. Jolie and Brad Pitt. I mean That was that was a great movie. They were really hot. Yes. So the spy who shagged me, like, will refer to, like, a backstory. Like, maybe a detective has been following you or following me and they know all these details and somehow they show up at your door and they have your underwear and they're smelling it and saying, are these yours? <laughs> <laughs> it has led me to this house. <laughs> <laughs> followed your son. <laughs> yeah, just follow the trail. All right, well, that, that's kind of like a, that's an intricate plot. You know what I'm saying? There, there'll be a, a lot like uh, around that um, that goes into that. But um, I feel like the outcome would be good. I feel like the right? outcome would be pretty hot. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't like the next one you're going to say. <laughs> oh, let me see. Don't wait the kids. Oh my god. I mean, listen. We both don't have kids, so we can't really I mean we do. They're just missing. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, we adopted kids in like 2013 and just let them loose because they were wild animals. So after They're like granny. Like, right, like basically right after the paperwork of like signing them over to for adoption, we were like now nah, we're good. <laughs> so there's there's somewhere uh, ra raging havoc around the streets of somewhere. I think Poughkeepsie now. <laughs> yeah, probably Poughkeepsie. Um, yeah. So I mean, okay, listen. Just because we don't have kids, we can you know we understand like what this is about, and if your kids are sleeping. What do you what do you think about this? I would not even want to at all. I can't first of all, you already know. I've said this before. I, I can't keep quiet anyway. I c I can't. I just can't keep quiet. Um Yeah, we would die of suffocation. <laughs> exactly. Under pillow. Yes, I've been suffocated with pillows on more than one occasion where I was like, You have to be quiet. So there's no way, um, you know what I'm saying, like all of my kids. All nine of my kids would wake up, that, you know, and just be like, "What's going on? What was that sound?" And you know, we we fail miserably at that one. <sighs> I mean, kids are weirdos. Like, they want to sneak in your room in the middle of the night. Like, no, I keep my bedroom door locked, and I have no kids. So, yeah, just. I don't know. Not for me. I guess some people would find it thrilling, especially like, it's like, oh, wow, we worked all week. Um, brought our kids to whatever, did shit with our kids. You know, let's unwind. So I get it for the parents. Mm -hmm. Shouts to you parents, because I could not do it. Yeah, no way. My kids would be in the shed, and it would be a lot easier to <laughs> have sexual relations in the house, because my kids would be in the shed. <laughs> Unheated or heated? No, definitely unheated. Um, <laughs> feeling feeling feral, Nikki D, is the next one. Okay, that would be cool in the woods, I will say. That's the like first thing that I've to. Yeah. Yeah. Outdoors. Raging, I guess. But in, like, a good way. Just, like... I don't yeah. know. 
Yeah, absolutely. I would love that. I mean, I like having sex outside anyway, obviously when it's warm. Right now? I, no, absolutely not. I can't. There's no no chance in hell. They'd be like, you'd be the winner of this, you know, billion dollar lottery. I'd be like, well, I can't. But anyway, yeah, when it's like nice out yeah. and, uh, you know, even like dark out, whatever, like even if you get like a little dirty, like from being yeah. in the woods, that's, that's kind of what they're talking about. That I like. And I'd, I'd meow like a feral cat. <laughs> nice. I'd be like this. I like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make a turtle sound, but I guess turtles don't really make a sound. Do turtles make sound? <laughs> I don't think so. I like, Ooh, I, the I next like turtles. one. Yeah, what's the next one? I'm a professional. Ooh. Sex professional. Cheers to that, yes. Cheers. We always, we always, we always say that we're not professionals in any God way. But we are sex professionals. I'm so used to like drinking with the right hand and I keep hitting the fucking mic and I'm like, damn it. Oh, yeah. Left yeah. hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't win. Patient you only have one selfie today? Yeah, I drank them all. I'm on the last one. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I know, I know last show you were like, uh, I need a diaper right now or I'm going to go to the bathroom. Because I'm drinking too many seltzers. Oh my! It's All right, so struggle. professional. So what are they? What are they talking about? Like you're gonna be like a porn star, and you're gonna show. Ooh. You're gonna show me, like, you're gonna show me different moves. Like check this out. Like I can do the, you know, this. Um. Or watch porn first and be like, let's do that. I w I wouldn't be opposed to either. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. I would say, like, acting like you were porn stars and just being, like, complete savages and, like... Yes. I would go in that direction or have it in the Definitely. background while you're do being a savage. Yes. I like all that, plus a webcam. <laughs> Jesus. It doesn't have to be... Don't be recording shit because that's okay. a bad idea. Don't ever record shit with anybody that you're with. No. You can use that as... as... You know, we're, we're gonna be we're gonna be together forever yeah yeah okay. um, but that'll be fun that'll be fun not you know you could do that without recording it just to have the camera on actually just have the camera on me makes me uh you know turns me on but that's why i go to therapy but i'm just saying like you know regardless that might be you know a little to like throw in the mix you know what i'm saying yes Ooh. You're going to spill that before the end of the show. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Long distance loving. Okay. Mm. Now, be well, before even reading this, what I'm thinking is that, like, let's just say we're acting this out, right? We're doing role play. So, me and you are a couple. I go to a hotel. It doesn't even have to be that far away, but I go to a hotel and we're, like, acting like we're far away. <laughs> unless that is that unless that is like a real thing like you have to go for a business or whatever you're going to travel you know visit your family or something and you actually are like long distance but listen what's the best way to do that i mean again i feel like a webcam would have to be involved because if you're far away you have to show the person something right like what, yeah. what else what other i don't know how else would it work well facetime that's what I'm saying, like something like that, like FaceTime. FaceTime, um, simply sexting, phone uh, sex, which is not for me. That would, but like, that would what be you're a... saying makes sense because I'm just like the first thing that popped in my head is like an actual long distance relationship, and I'm like, oh no. Oh no, nah, these are just all role plays. I know. This not, there's, there's no way that that would, no way. I don't think, I mean, you know, shouts to people that do that, but, like, how? Because um, they're, like, they're, like, role-playing all the time. So yeah. they would be doing the this, this sex thing, you know, before, like, the sex thing, like, early on, and then yeah. you get, like, all hot and bothered, and then you turn on FaceTime, or you turn on whatever, <laughs> have a Zoom session, invite other people in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, Oop, invite random people family. in. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Georgie, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. May December romance. Nikki P, I don't even know what that is. Me neither. Um Oh, age. Oh, age play. Okay. I don't know okay. how May December correlates to that, but okay. Okay. So this so, would be like me calling a male or you calling a male like daddy. Or if you want to get real weird, grandpa. Oh, God, no. <laughs> yeah, hey, you know they're out there. Yeah, yeah, believe me, I know they're out there. <laughs> I had I had my own situation, um, which I didn't tell you about, actually. But I do like older guys. You know, I'm going to be 40. Woo! I'm gonna be 40 in like a month and a half. I might as well just embrace it and celebrate it because there's nothing I can do about it. And just say like, you know, 40s are gonna be the best decade ever. Let, yeah. Let's see. Um, it still may be. It, it might be. But anyway, I do like older guys. Uh, my main thing is like <laughs> I like younger guys, like in their 20s, and then I like guys <laughs> like older than me. Yeah. So. I definitely well, fifty five up. All right. Well, fifty five tops. Fifty no, no, early fifties. Yeah, like no no higher than that. Definitely not high high fifties and in the sixties. I'm I'm, oh, I'm, gee, just, I'm thank disgusted. You. Not when thank I can you. not when I can call my grandpa. <laughs> but you know but I have I have called guys Big Daddy before, I'm not gonna lie. Um and it wasn't even it wasn't even like a a thing. It wasn't yeah. Even a, you know, a role play. Sorry. Yeah. You know, but um, yeah. Sometimes shit gets real, and that's just what happens. And I find that common, like the big daddy. Even like when you're referring to someone. I remember watching a show. This woman, she couldn't say his name because he was having an affair with her, but she referred to him as big. Oh, I'm sorry, big papa. Big Papa? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's weird because um, I, I'm i a top for younger guys and a bottom for older guys, and that's just how it's always been. Um, but I've been with some big daddies, <laughs> so shout, shouts to you. Same. I'm, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> what we got next, Nikki P? The brains and the brawn. I right. think of brawny. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there. I think of the brawny <laughs> paper towel guy. <laughs> the paper towel guy, yeah. All right. So in this sense, they're talking about um, a football player and a cheerleader or like a basketball player and a cheerleader. Uh, yes, right. So you'd have a cute little skimpy outfit. You would have a tight or basketball outfit, and then you just dunk that ball and then dunk it in me. <laughs> hey, there you go. Nice. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> dunk it in me. Yes. Yeah, I can definitely picture that. Some kind, some type of, like, uh, nerd or something, and I have, like, a, a football uniform on. Yeah, that would be pretty hot. See, that one's, like, doable and realistic. Like, that doesn't have to be weird. Yes. Like, that I wouldn't even talk to my partner with. I would just have some skimpy little skirt and, like, a crop top on and be like, hey. Yeah. I agree. That's definitely not, like, a, a taboo one at all. Yeah. You know, that's just, not, like. Not breaking and entering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. That one, that one's the winner out of all all forty. Yeah, that one, hands down, is the winner. All right, so fasten <laughs> your seatbelt, ladies and gentlemen. Is this? Uh, no, no. Let me see. I don't think this is driving. I think this is on a flight. Airplane. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, are you in the Mile High Club? Nikki P, are you in the Mile? Hell High Club? no. You. Nikki P would not be on the high, the Mile High Club because she takes a bottle of Xanax and a, a bottle of wine before she steps foot on the plane. 
right? And talks to the pilot and talks to my neighbor next to me and starts crying and listens to Drunk on the Plane by Dirk Bentley 15 times until I fall asleep. Yeah, I was going to say, at least you remember that much. Um, <laughs> so the fear the fear of, of flying never goes away for you? Like you just go to sleep and you wake up and you're like, thank God I'm there? Like you're scared the whole time? Yeah. Uh, I hate it. Okay, well, you definitely did not uh, fasten your seatbelt then. No, I did play. not. In this role play situation. Um, I I did not. I, I feel like I came close one time, like got a blanket. Oh, yeah. You told me this. Yeah, it was like a blanket. It definitely wasn't anything like the movies, like let's go into the bathroom. Because the bathroom is the size of this fucking studio, like what you guys can see on an airplane. Even smaller than that. Probably like half this, this space. Um, so that's bullshit when you see that on, on movies and stuff, but definitely like a blanket that was over us and we were just like playing with ourselves. Yeah. Or each like, other. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> like I go, oh, I just watched, um, the Griswold's Las Vegas vacation when they try to join the mile. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah and it did not work but like i go into a bathroom on the airplane and i'm like okay in and out in and out yeah and yeah, the, for sure. like the steward or stewardess their their seats are usually right in front of the bathroom right yeah yeah no definitely um that's the thing like you can't even like to do anything sexually is impossible I can barely fit in there myself, and then when I do, and I take a piss, Ooh. I'm pissing on the toilet seat, I'm pissing on the wall, I'm pissing on the sink, I'm pissing on my shoe, I'm pissing on the wall, again. Ew. <laughs> and I'm just like, I love flying, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you get to your destination and, like, see your friends or family. Why do you smell like piss? Well, <laughs> well. Well, I try to, I would to, definitely... Uh, now, could you, would you try to recreate a plane? Like, not, you know what I mean, but like. <laughs> what, how am I going to do that? <laughs> I mean, I, I know how to weld, but that shit will take me 14 years. <laughs> like, you could turn it into like a role play situation as in, you know, maybe being in the smallest room in a apartment or home or house and you're just like. Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen, to flight number 269. We're about to depart right now, and la 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 la. I mean, and then just go into it like that without the plane. No? Oh. Thanks. Denied. <laughs> Sorry. Come on. I'm using Sorry, my that, imagination. That, that shit would not work at all. People, you need to I, realize I like, my boyfriend like cannot get on a plane. He pukes right, so at least, at least you can get on it. He can't. He can't make it that far, right? I hear you. Well, no. Listen, that's some people are like that. Some people is no fucking joke at all. Mm -mm. I'm about to like freak out. Literally. Literally, literally. I wish I had a sound effect that said literally. I'm surprised there's not one. Oh, there might be. I'll make one. Yeah, all you have to do is record one yourself. Yeah. That's true, you just record, record one yourself. We'll just use that. That'll be literally. Perfect. Literally. Literally. That would be awesome. All, all right, righty. so... <laughs> what do we got next, Nikki P? In the name of science. Ooh. All right, this one might be fun. So, your patient zero is the scientist, and I'm the experiment. And oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Wait, so, we so would you're, never do you're... this together, but... <laughs> Wait, so you're a Wuhan lab and I'm patient zero? Is that what you're yes. saying? Yes. Okay, gotcha. So you're poking and prodding with all these... <laughs> with all these probes and instruments. And one thing leads oh. to another. This I would want to be on, like, a countertop for. Oh, right! Yes. Like the coldness, like a lab. Yeah, yep, exactly. Because if, yeah, exactly. That's the way you have to do it. It has to be like cold and uncomfortable, but at the same time, it's gonna be fun and intense. 
you know? And I like the probes. Yeah. I love all the probes. I don't know where the probes will come from, but, you know, take something. Take some, take some fucking silverware. <laughs> or some something. stuff in my drawer. Yeah. Well, me too, but, I mean, you know. <laughs> not like, uh, sci- like a, out of a science lab. No. Just, you know, shove a beaker up there, you know? <laughs> Be like, don't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> all right a serious workout so this is we talked about the hot yogi like the really hot yoga yeah Su- super hot yoga but now we're talking about a serious workout so i guess to me when i when i think of this i instantly think locker room yeah locker room to me is one of the hottest places on i mean it's like <laughs> <laughs> Please. The it's hottest so, place it, across the land. Across the land. It's so <laughs> crazy to explain this to straight guys. You know what I'm saying? Like even my brothers and shit like that. Like it's so hard to explain this, but just imagine if you're straight and you walk into a room where there's nothing but girls and women everywhere. Well, okay, I should have said yeah. women, my bad. Not girls, you know what I mean? Women everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Topless, naked, coming out of the shower, just getting dressed, uh, sweaty from their workout. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I get in there and I'm just like, I gotta move fast because, you know what I'm saying? I, I gotta don't move know fast. What this plan. I gotta, I gotta hide some shit real fast. I'm just like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> in and out. So that's what I think. Serious workout. Sometimes when you have a serious workout, do you get, like, turned on? No, I want to die. Okay. And then I feel good. And then I want to gotcha. snack. A snack off that ass. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, go ahead. What's uh, the next one? Something I feel like you and I are not into, but I know a lot of people are. Han isn't solo this time. I don't so they're re- they include Titanic, which I love, and that I could picture doing. But they're also including Harry Par- Potter, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings for some people. I mean, some people do cosplay and get really into it. That's very true. Um, Titanic, I could do because I feel like that would be realistic for me. And just, like, that fun, like, oh, you're drawing me naked. Like, how are you not ravishing me already? But I Mm -hmm. feel like that would create that tension and just make everything amazing. And then you find or you go into your own car and get her done. (laughs) Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't know about the anything. I don't know. I don't know. I definitely don't know about Star Wars. I've never seen (laughs) any Harry Potter. I've never been into that. Titanic. Yeah, I guess it would be something like that, maybe. I can't really. Think I mean, how that. do you feel about cosplay and everything in a in a sexual realm? I don't really know. I don't have much to say about it because I've never yeah. done it. I've never done it. Am I totally against it? No, I, I have a, a huge open mind. I'll try yeah. all these bitches. You know what I mean? You you know that, and I know you have an open mind as well. Um. But I mean, like, I don't know. It's just nothing that ever, that I never, that I never tried. Yeah. Like when people tell me they do cosplay in real life, as in like dressing up, but for fun, like not sexual, but immediately my mind goes to sexual and I'm thinking about it. And I'm like thinking about this couple that I don't even know. I just know one side and I'm like, hmm. And they're telling me about it. I'm just thinking about like. What's the sex like in my head? Like, oh, oh. Right. what do you do right. with the sword? <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> what do you do with that sword? Um. Wow. All right. Well, let's see. Um, I'm happy that we started where we did, Nikki P. Because <laughs> yeah, we, we, we still have a lot. Yeah, we definitely would not have gotten through all forty. So, what's what's Rebel Rebel? One of the one of you is a sign of a country club. 
The other Ooh. is a bad kid who wants to lead him on, lead him or her astray. Like John Hughes movies, this is an idea you'll be able to get behind. I don't know. What do you so think? you're like a preppy, rich guy, and you're like, I'm so much better. And then like, I'm a badass rebel. And I'm like, you, you ain't, ain't shit. shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to smoke this cigarette and drink this gin and tonic and you're going to come with me and like it. And he gets so intrigued that he just comes with you and then comes everywhere. everyone's coming. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's coming. Yes, indeed. <laughs> everyone's coming. Uh, so much for PG-13, by the way. <laughs> All right. We just meant coming, like, everybody's coming along, like, coming along. C-O-M-I-N-G. Right, right. Cyborg Duh. bang. Nikki P, cyborg bang? Oh, my God. We have had conversations and podcasts about sex robots, like, actual robots. Let's see if this is what it's about. Engage in a bit of future uh, futurism and imagine that you are one of the sexy no. android programmed for <laughs> no nah, nah if you have to actually like act it out like that that's are you like moving like the... <laughs> yeah yeah right <laughs> no i'm out yeah that's actually corny as fuck i draw I the know. line somewhere <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's kind of corny as fuck some of those sex rob robots though god damn i can't believe like what they have achieved in technology um I mean, shit, we got, we're already in overtime. Damn, we still got some more, huh? I know. I told you. We're like not even close to being done. All right, well, listen, ladies and gentlemen, we might have to revisit this. We might have to come, come back to it. <laughs> right? We might need to come, come back hither. to it. Come hither. Yes. I mean, you know, why not? Hey, it was a lot of fun. Nick B. Hopefully you had a lot of fun. I as did. Well. And, uh, you know, that was some, at least, we didn't cover all 40, but that was definitely some of the sex roleplay adventures that you can do with your significant other or a random Ooh. person. Why not? By yourself. You know, dress, know. dress like a, <laughs> dress as a cyborg and, you know, go like this. <laughs> like, wasn't that, wasn't that a fun roleplay? Wow. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the show. That was a quick hour. Um, I had fun. We had fun. Hopefully, you guys had fun. Remember, we're here every Friday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Please spread the word like a prostitute's legs. I'm not going to say the other word. No. Spread the word. Spread the word. Spread the word. Just tell one person. Tell a random person that you're social distancing with at the store. Tell Granny. Tell somebody. Scream it over the intercom at the store. Exactly. And the easiest way, <laughs> that would be great, actually. And the easiest way <laughs> we do to spread the word, really, is to follow us on IG. IG, at Mixture Variety, at Mixture Variety. We are here Friday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern. Also, you can catch our live show on CastBox Monday through Thursday at 9 p.m. That's on CastBox. Yeah. All of our uploaded shows, our 180-plus shows <laughs> that we've done over the last year, are on anchor.fm and on every platform. So all I recommend that you do is just type in Make Sure Variety or Make Sure Variety Podcast. Thank you guys so much for tuning thank in. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully we'll see you Monday Oof. at 9 p.m. on CastBox. And if not, we'll see you next week at 9 p.m. Eastern right here. Make Sure Variety. 